What about red and black soil? People tell us that when you have red and black soil, it changes the dynamics of building on a site. Big time. Big time. Because red soil is stable soil. You can actually do trenches. And uh, it's stable. It's, uh, it's got a bearing capacity for uh, domestic houses. With office buildings, you normally try and go into rock. Because really, the structure has to sit on something. So domestic houses, uh, double stories, up to four stories, they sit very well on, on, on red, red soil. Black cotton has several disadvantages. One, it, it expands with water and contracts when it's dry. So it's unpredictable under, under a structure. So what happens if you're building where there's a black cotton soil area, you're required to remove all the soil build the walls, then backfill with a hard core or a stable material, and then do your slab. So it ends up costing you a lot more than red soil, because red soil, you don't have to do that. You just do the trenches and just fill the top. So there's a big difference between construction of red soil area and a black cotton soil area. And then people don't realize, black cotton soil area, you cannot do septic tanks, because um, the water does not percolate or filtrate into the ground. So, and I've seen some projects that have been done on, on, uh, on black cotton soil. Yes. And they do have septic tanks. How do they yes. work on that? In fact, it's not septic tanks because septic tank is the wrong thing. It's what we call treatment plants. Mm -hmm. Now, treatment plants take the, uh, the fowl and whatever water, treat it, and then at the end of the process, you can actually use it for irrigation. Yes, yes. That is beneficial. Yes. But of course, it's the running costs of the, uh, of, 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 of the treatment plant. Septic tanks work very well in red, red, uh, red, red soil because the water percolates. You know, after it's been treated, it percolates into the ground. And that's why you see where there's septic tanks, at the end of it, you see a lot of green. Yes. Because the water has percolated and has, uh, has, uh, has, 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 you know, sort of filtered into the ground. Wow. That's the difference. Yes. That's very interesting and actually we've learned a lot from from your talk today. I hope you have. <laughs> we have so yes. much. Give us your parting shot. Uh, I always advise people that cheap is expensive. It's always good to engage the right professionals to give you the right level of service. Because uh, people always think that, you know, by paying uh, consultants, they are they're spending money. But I can tell you that money is worth worthwhile at the end of the day. Because there's a lot of projects, 70%, in fact, 70% of developments within the country are done without professionals. And I can assure you, at least 50% have issues of claims or have issues of disputes. But people don't realize, or, or the, the developers lost out without realizing. And they've lost out much more than they could actually have paid a professional to do it. So if you want to be safe in a construction project, use a coin survey. Thank you so and the much. Right professionals. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And of course for your insight on yeah. why we should use a quantity survey. I hope it was useful. It was very useful. Yes. <laughs> Join me after the break as we visit our hot property of the week. Suku Hookup. Hook your friends up and we'll hook you up with a free flat screen TV. It couldn't be easier. Just get your friends to subscribe to Zuku and you'll get that flat screen TV. No draws, no competition, just guaranteed TV prizes. Start hooking up your friends today. See press and posters for details. Zuku, amazing. Yeah. Welcome to the hot property of the week. Today we are at Peony Estate, which the developer has dubbed as Live in Style. Peony Estate is on Haderu Road in Lovington, and we will be speaking to Veronica Thama, who will be telling us why this is the hot property of the week. The living room is spacious and airy, with interior finishing of European style, which offers a view to the sky garden. There is a beautifully crafted bookshelf where one can choose to either put books or pictures of loved ones. From the living room, one walks into the dining area which is warm and exquisite, offering a great setting for hosting. The open plan kitchen is easily accessible from the dining area. The kitchen has tile floors which make it easy to clean and a large marble working surface area. There are many inbuilt cabinets, thus you have ample storage for your kitchenware. 
The bedrooms have large windows which allow ample natural light into the room, creating a warm feeling throughout the room. The finishes are of great quality giving a sense of style and elegance. The bathroom has beautiful tiles and sanitary wear which is consistent throughout each unit within the property. The master bedroom is spacious with mahogany stained wood floors. It has large windows which offer natural light. One can use the space next to the window as a lounge or reading area. The developer's attention to detail comes into play into the bedrooms because wrought iron rods are used to hold up the curtains. The wardrobes are large enough and offer ample storage for one's personal items. The master bathroom has a bathtub, pedestal sink and a makeup mirror which is of tasteful finishing. Tell us about Peony Estates. Peony, the first thing is a concept. Like you had said, the developer said live in style and that's what we want people to feel when they come to live in Peony Estate. Done by a developer called Gawi International. It's a project that comprises of three bedrooms, four bedrooms and five bedrooms. The three bedrooms they are master and suite two sharing plus a servant quarter. Then we have the four bedrooms, which are three rooms and suite, one sharing and a self-contained servant quarter. Then we have five bedrooms, a duplex penthouse, two bedrooms on the lower floor, three on the upper floor with a terrace and a self-contained servant quarter. At Peony Estate, we have a perimeter wall and on top of it, an electric fence and then we provide CCTV cameras for that extra security and every day we have 24 hours guard duty. As for water, we are connected to the Nairobi City Council water but you've gone that extra mile to provide our residents with enough water. So we have put down a borehole and then we have underground water tanks so that everybody will have enough water in their houses. As for electricity, we are connected to the Kenya Power but on top of that, we want to, to provide our residents with comfort and luxury, like we say, living style. So we have provided a backup generator, which is going to cover even inside the houses. Even when the lights go out, you'll still have electricity in your house. And on top of that, we put solar panels for water heating. For the first block, we expect the expected completion date is December this year. But for occupation, that should be by the first quarter of next year. For our clients who are looking for mortgage, we've partnered with KCB, SNL Mortgages. They offer financial services for people who are looking for mortgages for our partner. Peony Estate is a luxurious gated community located on Hatheru Road in Lavington. It is situated about 8 to 10 kilometers from the city centre and it is also a 15-minute drive from the city centre without traffic. One can access Peony Estate using three main access roads, which are James Kishuru Road, Gitanga Road, and Riara Road. The schools located around the area are Rusinga School, which is just a walking distance from the estate. There is also Braben School, St. Austin's, McKinney School, Strathmore School, and Riara School as well. For medical facilities, Maria Immaculate Hospital is just one kilometer away from Peony Estate. Other hospitals available in the area are Aga Khan Clinic and Nairobi Women's Hospital on Gong Road. Shopping malls are also conveniently located near the estate, such as Yaya Center, Lavington Green, Nakumat Junction, where one is able to find all the major banks, for example, Bank of Africa, CFC Bank, Standard Chartered Bank, and Equity Bank. For this property, the price is from 15.5 million Kenya shillings. For anyone willing to purchase the property for investment, the current rent rates are from 90,000 Kenya shillings per month. Few units are remaining. And that was our hot property of the week. As you can see, we are standing on Haderu Road, the shaded driveway to Peony Estates. And coming up next is the property gallery where we'll be able to showcase other properties available in the market. Don't go away. Flame Tree Park, which is located in Thika, is a gated residential community with a commercial center comprising of 364 units. Some of the features include three bedrooms with two bathroom apartments, spacious lounge and dining area with large bay windows and balcony areas, open plan kitchen, separate dobe area, inbuilt wardrobes, carbro paved driveways and parking, and landscaped common gardens. 
The Commercial Center has Naiva Supermarket, a medical clinic, a pharmacy, and a range of boutique stores. The price for this property is 5.2 million Kenya shillings. For anyone willing to purchase the property for investment, the current rent rates are 17,000 to 25,000 Kenya shillings per month. Most of all, all cash buyers will get free kitchen appliances. Kent Gardens, which is located in Kileleshwa, is a residential development comprising of apartments. The key features of the apartments are unique architecture, ample parking space, its serene and tranquil environment, rich ambience, large and spacious rooms, 24-hour security, all bedrooms en suite, attractive balcony, large spacious kitchen, green lawns and cabro paved driveway. The price for this property is 16 million Kenya shillings. For anyone willing to purchase the property for investment, the current rent rates are around 80,000 Kenya shillings per month for an unfurnished apartment and 140,000 to 150,000 Kenya shillings per month for a furnished apartment. For more information on these properties, kindly refer to the Property Show website. I'm sure you have enjoyed the show and I will now give you a summary of the role of a quantity surveyor. The role of a quantity surveyor includes to advise clients on the construction process, to provide bills of quantities, to quantify the cost of materials used during the construction. He prepares a cash flow statement for the client and provides terms of reference for the engagement of the contractor. And finally, to ensure the contractor has attended to any defects after completion of the project. Thank you for watching The Property Show. You have heard from the Quantity Surveyor and visited our hot property of the week. You have also seen the developments available in the market. We appreciate your feedback and would like to hear your views, questions or any subjects you'd like our experts to cover. Kwaheri, see you next week and thank you for watching.